Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to be taking a look at a build that I used to practice power stance short spears using a ladder legal setup. And, well, I did use this on ladder. I ultimately came to the conclusion that the heavy short spears would be better due to the increased counter damage. That being said, this build does have access to optimal coded. Sacred Blade is quite good just because you have the 90 AR of pure holy damage. Coded is obviously good for having pure holy damage. And Pada is also good for having pure holy damage. I tested this build out in Arena and against several ladder players. Although I did not record the matches from the ladder players, I did record the Arena matches. So here's some Arena matches and let me explain the build. So first up we have 60 Vigor, that is the Vigor soft cap. Then we have 19 Endurance to not fat roll and still reach 109 poise. Our Strength and Dexterity are both at 10, just to wield the Short Spear. Although, Wretch also starts with just 10, so it works out nicely for optimization. And then we have 75 Faith. This is past the 50 Faith soft cap, but nowhere else to spend our points to, so Faith will give us more damage. Obviously, we have the Sacred Short Spears with Sacred Blade. For the Talismans, we have Crimson Amber Medallion, Urtree's Favor plus 2, Full Goat's Talisman, and Great Shark's Arsenal. For the armor, we have the Crucible Tree Helm, the Tree Sentinel Armor, Lionel's Gauntlets, and Tree Sentinel's Greaves. This is the lightest armor set to give us 109 poise, which is very important for PvP because you can take one offhand S stock hit. For the Great Rune, we have Morgoth's Great Rune, giving us more HP. And for the Crystal Tier, you have the Opaline Heart Tier to boost our damage negation and the Crimson Bubble Tier to increase our HP when we drop below the certain threshold. Now as far as movesets go for, for Power Stain Spears, you have the Jumping L1, the Running L1, the Neutral L1, and then the Rolling R1 as your main components to use. The Running L1 is very good for aggressing. The Jumping L1 has deceptive range and will stun if they get hit by that second spear. You can beta jump and then just start off with the running L1 and catch them with the running L1. The neutral L1 is good, not as good as the running and jumping attack. The rolling attack is really a last case scenario. It's not that great, but it's better than the power stance rolling L1. And then for coded, the jumping L1 and the neutral standing L1 are going to be the main attacks. You also have an unreactable crouch R1, which can be useful. It's fine. I haven't really found that much of a use for it outside of competitive PvP where I can force someone off of me. In arena, if you're not facing the good of players, you can probably just mash L1 and win with coded. The jumping L1 is very good for range because the running L1 is not that great. The jumping L1 is significantly better for aggressing. If you increase dexterity to 12, you can use the Erd Steel Dagger, which has been proven to be a very good main hand setup. I did not see it being worth just because I was specifically trying to learn spear as well as having a good power stance sword setup. 